Tom here from Lawrence Systems. We're going to talk about IT certifications, college degree, and well, let's get this right off the rip and out of the way because this question comes up quite a bit and I want to have this video as my go-to reply for what are your thoughts on these things. First, my thoughts are I don't have them. I do not have a college degree. I do not have IT certifications. So if that's enough to make you stop watching this video because you shouldn't listen to some guy who doesn't have certifications talk about certifications, that's perfectly fine. That's why I like to disclose things up front and maybe you've stopped watching there. If you still are watching the video, let's talk a little bit about this because as a business owner, one, you don't need, at least here in the US, any type of certification to own a business. So that is just something that doesn't come up. Even though I've had a tech company and I've worked in technology since 1995, it is not required that I have certifications to do what I do. There are specific exceptions where uh, there are licenses that you may need or qualifications you qualifications that have to be vetted by state agencies to be very specific in certain areas and cabling and wiring is one of those areas but Michigan where we are located is actually an exception to that but some other states do require certifications that you have to get for that but that's a little different than the IT certification so at least I'll mention because we do cabling and wiring and people ask well what certs do you need to get started in Michigan the answer is none back to the actual topic one of the problems is a lot of people are, they see these headlines and they drive me nuts, you know, and I could sit here and be all high and mighty about it going, I'm successful in tech and uh, I'm all about the acquisition of knowledge, not the validation of institution, but that doesn't really help anyone in their IT career. That's just a clickbaity headline to say that someone dropped out of college and built some big company and it's some article you'll read and there'll be this implementation that you can do it too, just because they did it. The reality is you're probably going to need some certifications to get in IT. What certifications is going to vary greatly a based on where you're going. And the cybersecurity world, and especially some of the application pen testing world, is some of the crazy side where there's certainly a lot of people without certification to get in there, but there are skill levels or where they prove it. And one of the, the ways, especially in the cybersecurity side, especially if you go into application pen testing and just collecting bug bounties, well, there's no certifications. You just have to be good enough to do it. That's the bar of entry. Can you do it? Can you dive into that and go in that market? But if you're looking for a regular, I want to work at a company with a job, it's important to have certifications. They are what make you marketable. They are what make the prospecting employer, when they're going around, going through places, they go, all right, that person's got a few certifications. And then like the college degrees as well. Those are things that are looked at as qualifiers to kind of filter out. And that's how HR departments will make some of those determinations. Now, there is another video I'll link to kind of talking about getting started in cybersecurity, where a couple of people who are experts in cybersecurity that I had on my channel uh, discussed that. I'll leave a link below. And it's Xavier and Chris Roberts. And uh, they talk about hacking, getting into there, and maybe even how to get around HR and things like that. Soft skills are where I have always worked at, and that's what's helped my career more than anything else. I've had the skills by reading books. I've done lots of hands-on labs. I've been working in tech for 25 years. The other side of that is I know a lot of people in tech, and it's because, well, I've been social in that realm. I take an interest in what they do. I've been someone who's worked on a lot of this myself, and having a lot of friends in the industry is what gets me a lot of the connections. And you're probably thinking, well, I don't know a lot of people. Well, there's a time in my life I didn't either. I don't come from anyone in my family who does any type of tech, but I will tell you those type of soft skills in going to conferences or online forums is actually where I meet a lot of people too over the the years I'm talking like from the earliest days I was I met people in the BBS dial-up days where we dial into bulletin board systems and have discussions with people about networking and it's been ongoing those conversations then it moved to IRC now it's moved to you know me hanging out and everything from discord to slack channels randomly that dive deep into those technology topics but having those circles of friends and technology is another part of your career path. It's kind of a conglomeration of everything together. Pick your passion, decide what you may need to get certified in, whether you're going to the network engineering side, whether or not you're going into some of the Microsoft certifications, which of course are extremely popular. And Microsoft and Cisco collectively represent a massive part of our industry. Those are still going to be popular, relevant certifications. Now, I'm not going to really send you down a path of which one, because I don't know what you want to do, but I will say that they're relevant. Now, the final thing I'll answer, because this is part of the question that comes at me, is do you have certifications? What are you certified in? Or what's your college degree? Which, like I said, was none. But do I require that of my staff? And wouldn't that be kind of hypocritical? And not really. I don't require it right now as a hiring mandate, but I've also only 
hired mostly my friends and people I knew. Uh, so it hasn't really been a bunch of random people that have come in here. I've had a few um, that have come in that, you know, I didn't really know, but yeah, I did some Q&A and being that I am technical, I'm able to see through people who don't you know, really understand what they're doing, but put it on the resume that they did. That's not as easy for your average HR person to do, um, but the vetting process I go through and it's not something I require. Now, it is something that I think is important in any of my staff that want to go and pursue certifications relevant to their career in here. Yeah, I cover that. Uh, I do provide training. IT Pro TV is one of the things I uh, have an affiliate link down below, but we actually use it internally. They'll let them take the tests. I've bought books for them. These are all things that are not a problem. Now, the final thing thoughts are on certifications. Do I think they're any good? This is a real fuzzy thing because I will admit they were really bad in the beginning and they really have changed a lot now. So I will say that my opinion, if you were to find some old comments that I had left somewhere where um, you don't need certifications and they're not really relevant and all they do is regurgitate information versus how I look at it today, I think they're a pretty important part of the industry. Our industry probably needs more of that because we have a lot of things are not done properly and making sure that these certifications and people that are qualified to do the jobs are the ones doing the jobs is going to be a part and an important part of the maturation and the how we get IT more organized and a little bit better and more secure is it's going to be through some organization like that and putting together proper certifications and proper understandings of the parameters needed in order to, you know, make sure that people know what they're doing when we sit them down in front of the keyboard or whether they know what they're doing when they wire up a cabling, whether or not they put things together in a secure manner when they're building an application. So that's my thoughts on it for here in 2020. And I'll leave a link below to the uh, Chris Roberts video with Xavier and diving in a cybersecurity topic, because that's an interesting one altogether that they are experts in. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.